So we are winding down. This is the last day of the seven day marathon that I've been doing, bringing you affirmations from the Kalisha Thoughts Affirmation Guide, which was a precursor to the She Prospers 30 Day Mastermind. If you are listening to this at this stage, it is very likely that the She Prospers Mastermind enrollment has been closed. However, if you go to the link, you can still get on the wait list for when we enroll for the 30-day mastermind again. At the core of all of this is an intention for abundance. So abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building are the three staple areas that I teach from as a life and business coach. And also known as the growth strategist is because it's all about growth. It's all about expanding, expanding our level of capacity and our abundance, our ability to receive. It's really what abundance is. And so at the core of everything that we talked about, this particular uh, marathon, it has been a goal of mine to help you tap into abundance from a different space or at a different level, uncovering limiting beliefs that you may have, even when you hear the different affirmations or heard the different affirmations, you can notice in your body where you're triggered, where something is not resonating with you. Oftentimes there is a limiting belief within that vernacular somewhere. So today I want to talk about three ways to know you're tapping into a new space of abundance. This would be kind of our way of rounding um, this particular marathon off. Three ways to know you are tapping into a new space of abundance. So abundance is plentifulness of the good things of life, prosperity, right? And so here, here are three ways to know you're tapping into a new space of abundance. Number one, your concept of what a lot of money is, is changing. Your concept of what a lot of money is, is changing. If $100 used to feel big to you, but you now see $1,000 as big money, you're tapping into a new level of abundance. This is an example. If you used to think earning $100,000 a year was a lot of money, and that concept has changed, and you are looking at larger amounts of money, a million dollars, as a lot of money, then you are tapping into a new level of abundance. And what happens with abundance is our ability to see possibility changes. Because abundance is literally all around us. Now, money is not the totality of abundance, but for general purposes, it is something that most people are innately and some intentionally setting out to achieve more of, maybe facing some resistance or uncomfortableness and uncertainty. And learning to tap into new levels of, of abundance allows you to see possibility where you just simply wouldn't have seen it before. So for instance, I used to have a goal of 300,000 a year in my coaching business. When I realized that uh, what that truly looked like after paying bills, expenses, travel, taxes, all the things I wanted to do, the number increased drastically. Right? Because I had tapped into a new perception of what would be a lot of money, I also began attracting clients who paid five and ten thousand dollars with ease. I started getting clients that paid in full, no installments, no payment plans. Before, even with a program that cost six thousand dollars to invest, that was one of my highest um, programs. I think maybe back in. 2020 and prior to that it was a thousand right but even uh beforehand with the six thousand dollar investment which was my exceptional mastermind money would come in slowly almost dripping in <laughs> right um but that was because internally i had set numbers of what i thought a lot of money was for the work that i do now when you have begun increasing what you feel a lot of money is you likely have tapped into a new space of abundance. When you get comfortable, and this is number two out of the three things, or three ways to know that you're tapping into a new space of abundance. Number two, when you get comfortable talking about money, 
Do you know how uncomfortable most people really are at the core when it relates to talking about money? The one thing most people want more of is the one thing most people are afraid of talking about. They start saying it's not necessary. Like, it doesn't take money. I don't need my, all the things. <laughs> How do you ever learn more about money and wealth building if you don't talk about it? If you don't get comfortable addressing your true money story? When you find yourself desiring to talk more about money, not in a, I need, I gotta get it, just interested overall in talking about and learning about maybe uncovering some beliefs to fix your money story, you are tapping into a new level of abundance. And the third way to know you're tapping into a new level of abundance is when you find a new space of being in your subconscious program that causes you to feel supported and cared for regardless of the circumstances. Whenever we live in a space of scarcity, there's an underlying feeling of fear that we are, aren't going to be cared for and provided for, especially in the area of money. Most often, because of our expectation for it to happen a specific way, there is a worry and fear about spending money, whether you'll ever get more, whether you'll be able to replace what you spend. A constant fear around what's happening in the economy is an ongoing conversation in the mind when we're operating our life from a space of lack. Regardless of how much money we are making, right, that thing, that lack thing still exists. This may mean buying the cheaper brand at the grocery store to save one dollar when you really desire the other. It may look like driving across town to save a few dollars on an item when your desire is truly for organic, freshly harvested food. But something is cheaper over here that's not even organic and you're going to drive all the way across town to get that. Listen, these are just scarcity ways of being that some people don't realize that they're operating in. And as within, so without. So it will show up in other areas of their life, buying the cheaper one, knowing you need the one that costs more and that it is of better quality, even if you have the money, you still buy the cheaper one. Being overly concerned about gas prices, I am not downplaying anything that may be going on in our economy, right? But if your focus is on abundance, what happens is things like gas prices and food they are always covered under your umbrella of abundance. There's a knowing on the inside of you that those things are always taken care of. So those are just some things that will keep a person in fear and limit abundance from expressing itself in their life. People who have a fear of money are often very afraid where money is concerned, even when it's not necessary, even when it's not necessary to be afraid afraid. Fearful and mindful are two different things. So I'm not saying don't be mindful, but fearful is a completely different thing. This doesn't mean you can't be smart in your spending. It means if there's an underlying fear attached to it, your thoughts are the opposite of abundance. However, if you began tapping into the idea that abundance is an unlimited resource, you begin to adopt the understanding that you are always provided and cared for and there's abundance all around you. Those are just a few ways to know if you're tapping into a mindset and space of abundance. If you love this type of work and you want to go further into concepts of abundance, um, I offer support privately, one-on-one. -on -one. I have a uh, an Academy, 3D Success Academy, which is the ultimate growth track for women in business. So, of course, we focus on business strategy, tactics, um, ins and outs, do's and don'ts, success tips. But we also focus on mindset and the elements of life alignment that we've spoken about in this entire marathon, seven-day marathon. The actual alignment circle concept is housed inside uh, 3D Success Academy. And there's an entire segment on nothing but, but mindset, right? That you can listen to while driving or doing things around the home or out and about. Maybe you're taking your walk or your run. 
the academy is an amazing space if you're looking for added support if you're looking for a private one-to-one -one coaching i have identity sessions power um, hours vip days all the things and you can reach me at renewfulcircle.com that is my take on today i am tanya wilson terry the growth strategist i focus on abundance mindset personal growth and business building i believe that when all three of those things are in alignment women in business make a lot of money have very fulfilling lives run businesses that fund their lifestyle not run their lifestyle i wish you peace and abundance until next time